What if I told you that you could mine crypto on this pretty inexpensive USB stick and it basically has the power of thousands of computers? How does it even work? How much does it cost? How much can you make with it? What if we buy a bunch of them and run them simultaneously? And most importantly, you already know what my intentions are and what the question on my mind is. Can we get rich quick with this? With all that and more on this episode of... Seriously, this is really cool. I saw this video about it and had to check it out since it claimed that this USB stick has the power of thousands of computers inside of it. Thousands of computers inside a little USB stick. I'm getting I'm getting a strong sense of cap. But what I'm holding here is something called a Gecko Science New Poc USB Miner. And the way it was explained in that one video is, sure, this laptop right here is a beast. They can do a lot of things, but this USB stick has chips from an Ant Miner S9, which is like the crazy miners that I think mining factories use. Okay, yeah, so if you search up crypto mining factories and look at some of the pictures they'll have these gray boxes which are called ant miners and they're hardware that's specifically designed for mining so these usb contraptions apparently have chips from those ant miners inside of them and they're also designed to solely mine crypto that's what they're specified for so in regards to mining this can apparently do a thousand times better than a laptop which this laptop can mine i think a couple dollars a day so I would be surprised if the math adds up there because two dollars times a thousand times better is two thousand but maybe if you account for efficiency and power consumption maybe these will be a thousand times better i don't know but i bought eight of them so we're gonna try to set them up run a bunch of tests try overclocking them really push them to the limit run up the numbers to see if this is something that's actually worth looking into so in terms of purchase price i haven't seen like an official website that sells them but this one has the new poc 90 giga hash version for 80 dollars. but i've been looking at it for weeks and it's always sold out so I don't know how feasible it is to get it for that price anywhere. Amazon has them in stock for $166. And then you can also buy some used ones off eBay for varying prices, but still pretty close to that kind of 150 mark. I ended up purchasing a little setup, a little rig that someone made and posted on eBay. I don't know how abused or beat up it is, but I paid with tax and shipping $1,400 for it. And this is supposed to come with eight of the new POC miners, two fans to cool the rig, a little multiple port USB extension device to plug all of the sticks into, and then I believe some cables. I will say this was a slightly spontaneous purchase. It looks really cool when it's built up. The eBay product image really sold me, but I ran the numbers and I think I could have just paid an extra $100 and bought everything brand new off Amazon, which would have been a lot smarter. Congratulations. You play. Given that, I don't know, these could have been running at overclock parameters 24-7 for a couple years before I got a hold of them. It says 2018 on this one, so I hope they at least still work. That was definitely a slight blunder on my end, but oh well, I'm excited to crack into this box and see what we got. I've only unpackaged one of the miners to flex for the intro, so let's dive in and see what's up with the rest. Right. I'll switch inside the Okay, so everything seems to be here. I don't think we got scammed, but after looking at all of the new POC miners, they all say 2018 on them. It wasn't just like the first one that we opened. They're all apparently from 2018. And judging based on the crustiness of the blades on these fans, this rig seems to have been well loved. Anyways, can't believe I just spent $1,400 on a bunch of USB sticks. Uh, First step here was to plug the USB miner into the computer. In my case, I did that through this extension multiple port USB dock type thing, but you could just plug it directly into your computer's USB port. Next up, I went onto this forum page that I'll link below, which has all the links you need to set one of these up for yourself. First up, you need to download a piece of software called Zadig, which helps your computer recognize and install the drivers necessary to operate these miners. Once you have that set up, you download the actual Gecko Miner software, unzip the files, and you're ready to go. As you can see here, I launched the miner and it was working right off the bat. You can tell the new POC is mining based on the software, but it also has an LED light on the actual device that will start flashing. I then plugged in the rest of the USB sticks. They were all recognized by the software right away. However, you still have one more step to actually mine in to your own wallet. 97.7 percent done if you want to earn some guaranteed crypto you're gonna to have to join a mining pool which is where a bunch of people combine their computing power to mine and then split the profits i set up an account with ant pool which gave me a little link that i pasted into the miner software settings and then while in those settings i also added a very sneaky line of code that overclocks the miners to make them run to their full potential normally this would overheat the miners but we have some fans here that should take care of that okay it's done it's overclocked we're good to go here i gotta admit it looks even 
cooler in real life. It's like a mini mining rig and the fans just make it look so interesting. The setup process was honestly very simple, a lot less troubleshooting and figuring stuff out compared to building a dedicated GPU mining rig. I, I mean, it's basically plug and play. You download some software, create a mining pool account of your choice and you're done. Currently I have this overclocked quite a bit. It normally runs on a base level frequency. Not sure what that even means, but it runs at a hundred base frequency. We added a little line of code and boosted it up to 300. So hopefully this doesn't go up in flames, but that boost definitely worked and we're getting a much higher hash rate. It was running at around 20 giga hash per second per USB stick. Now it's in the mid 60s per stick. So overclock, the whole rig is currently fluctuating at around four to 600 giga hash per second total. Hopefully this doesn't burn my house down while I sleep. Or time will tell. I'm gonna let it run overnight, see how stable it is, and then tomorrow, we'll see how much we actually made from all this, crunch the numbers, and see how profitable this potentially could be. Very hyped to see how this goes. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Right, so next day here, it's been around 14, 15 hours, and this thing is running smooth. No crashes or issues whatsoever, and all eight of the miners are running steady at the same 60 to 70 giga hash per second mark. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's phenomenal. They're not even getting hot. The fans did a great job of cooling things down. So I think our overclocking parameters are actually fair game. But now before we get into exact dollar amounts earned, I actually found a really interesting use case for these things last night when I was just doing some, some more research on them. So you know how we joined something called a pool to mine on these things? Well, if you're not familiar with what that is, the way Bitcoin mining pools work, is a bunch of people join them and with this combined hash power and computing power they mine bitcoin together the reason for that is because bitcoin mining is basically just solving equations to guess a random number which then gives you the ability to write the next page of bitcoin transactions on the blockchain for which you get rewarded bitcoin and the more powerful of a computer you have the more equations you can solve quicker so the more guesses you can make per second so when you join a pool and combine a bunch of computers together you're pretty likely to guess quite a few of those numbers and then you split the bitcoin reward with everyone in the pool based on what you contribute in terms of hashing power but you could mine on your own without a pool it's very unlikely that you're going to be the one to guess that number and get the bitcoin reward since with mining on only your own computer you're not solving a ton of equations meaning you're not getting a ton of attempts at guessing that right number but it is possible you could get it on your first day and cash out i believe there was a halving last year so currently the reward for mining a block is 6.25 bitcoin if you do the math at the current price of Bitcoin, that's a major come up. Although very, very, very unlikely that you'll ever earn anything mining on your own this way, it's technically possible. You could technically earn like six Bitcoin off of one of these USB sticks. So these types of things are very accurately referred to as lottery miners. And so I think using this as a lottery miner would pretty much be the only slightly reasonable use case for it, given that the 600 giga hash that this rig is currently operating at only equals to about $6.50 per month at the current price of Bitcoin. So about 20 cents per day. Man, stop playing with me. What? And that's if you live with your parents and don't have to pay electricity costs, because although they're going to be pretty insignificant for this rig, it also pays insignificantly. So paying for electricity would even further drastically decrease profits. In fact, they take about 20 years and not accounting for electricity to pay this thing off. Mining on the laptop that this rig is connected to would be a lot more profitable. It's more of a tool to learn how to mine, maybe get comfortable with it, but it's not that difficult to actually build a GPU mining rig. And this isn't exactly cheap. So I think you're better off putting that money towards a rig. It's a little gimmicky, but you can earn money with it and you gotta admit it's pretty cool nonetheless and I, I think the only reasonable use case is the lottery thing maybe as a gift but that's about it hope you guys enjoyed this video and have an amazing rest of your day peace